When we did Sweetheart of the Rodeo, uh, we were coming from rock and roll and going into an area um, that we hadn't tried before really uh, on a full-time basis. We'd done one or two songs that were country on an album, but we hadn't done a complete album of country music. And uh, it was uh, kind of a frontier and an, an adventure. And um, it was a gamble in, in a sense because uh, we weren't sure that we would uh, keep our rock and roll audience and uh, we weren't sure if we could gain a country audience. And in fact, what happened was we kind of lost both uh, for a minute there. We, mm -hmm. we didn't gain the country audience because they, they looked upon us as kind of uh, carpetbaggers or something. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the rock audience thought we had turned uh, traitor and, and gone to what was at that time considered a conservative political thing. You know, country music was political. Like, you'd gone over to the right wing or something if you did country music. So we, uh, you know, kind of took a chance, and, and now it's cool. The, now, the, well, the rock you know. audience initially did that, but then later they liked it. Oh, then it. they liked it, yeah, they after a couple like of years the they liked it. The uh, country audience never, never liked what we did. Right. You know. uh, the, I think the sterling example is uh, Ralph Emery's uh, reaction to our uh, um, song, You Ain't Going Nowhere which we took to WSM and asked him to play it on, on the Air Force. And he previewed it on a turntable and he said he wouldn't play it. Because uh, he, he asked me what it's about. And I said, I don't know, it's a Bob Dylan song. And I've, I've always had a hard time figuring out what Bob Dylan songs are about. You know? <laughs> but now, 1989, of course, um, what is considered country music. If the Grateful Dead were a brand new group right now, they'd be country band. Right. And so things do go around.